This is the Tech News Update for Tuesday, September 11th, 2018, and uh, welcome aboard this uh, Windows and Computer Channel. And today in our Tech News, we have uh, an interesting new device that will be the Smart Things Tracker by Samsung. And it's actually will create a little bit of a revolution. Pretty much all trackers right now use Bluetooth to actually give their device position. And some of them will actually have kind of a, a, a mesh or a connecting network that devices can track each other so you know where devices are. But Samsung is going to release this week one that is on LTE which will, of course, be a much better way to track devices, meaning that you don't even need to be near one anymore to actually know where it is. So you'll find your keys, your pets, or whatever you want to track with these devices. After Donald Trump asked Apple to assemble its phones in the U.S., a study by Bank of America and Merrill Lynch says that doing so will add 20% more to the price and they say that this is the thing. It's what's happening is that um, the um, Apple, of course, you know, kind of complained because of the trade war going on that their devices will be more expensive because of that. Well, that was pretty much the response. If you're on an older version of Windows 10, so that's a version before the April 2018 update, you will get a update that makes the Windows Update service more reliable it's rolling out right now to users and, of course, only to older Windows 10 users. So if you're on the latest uh, version, April 2018 update, you're not getting this update. It's only for people that are on the uh, older Windows 10 versions. Well, if you um, are interested in sometimes what we find at um, things like DEF CON, where there's a lot of cybersecurity uh, tracking going on and seeing what is happening. Uh, one of the things that, and one of the data that they look at is data leaks on devices that might be tracking your location without you knowing about it. Well, it was revealed that dozens of iOS apps on iPhones and iPads actually track and sell your location to third-party companies. And the worst about it is they don't tell you, which is not really cool, honestly. And I think any app that actually tracks your location and sells that information should have to tell you. Internet service providers are back at it again saying that if net neutrality comes back it's a bad thing because it gives free internet to the giants of streaming like Netflix and YouTube and that they need to pay to use the bandwidth and it's been a debate on internet service providers for a long time because it is um, according to the data it is proven that up to 90 close to 90 percent of internet traffic uh, in, you know, like the evening, for example, is streaming video. And of course, internet service providers have to pay for upgrading their, their services to make sure that the streaming goes well. And they say, well, you know, maybe these companies should pay for using the internet because they use it a lot. And, you know, this is an ever going on war between ISPs and uh, big services like Netflix and YouTube that actually do pay extra right now to these companies. Well, security awareness is something that's important. And a study is showing that, um, you know, they often want to have their employees follow cybersecurity training. Employees often don't because it costs a lot of money. Well, the study says that big and small companies should pay their employees to get cybersecurity training. It is costly to the company, of course, but it is far less costly than a cybersecurity threat that might actually have you lose a lot of money. And by having awareness, of course, your employees will be there in the first line of defense. Make sure that not, nothing bad happens. Well, we always know that, you know, the um, public Wi-Fi, the free Wi-Fi everywhere is always something kind of a little difficult to, uh, to use without uh, having at least a minimal risk. Well, a uh, report of uh, Wi-Fi in airports lists uh, San Diego as the top on the list for the worst public Wi-Fi, the most dangerous one to connect to. And they found that just connecting to it, variants of attacks are already trying to actually get into your device. And that they say that up to 30 to 35% of devices might actually have flaws that can be exploited by these uh, bad guys trying to get through. 
Well, of course, Nintendo talked about how there was going to be some cloud save for gaming, where you'll be able to save your games, continue where you left off, without having to actually save on the local device, which means you'll need less space. Well, some users were a little mad this week because they found out that some games are not going to have that capability. And Nintendo issued a statement yesterday saying, well, okay, well, we'll tell you why we're not going to do it for every game. Some gamers are actually cheating and that having a cloud save possibility means that they will cheat even more. Well, Microsoft TechNet is that, you know, place where we usually think that everything's safe and that we can actually believe what's in there. Well, an interesting uh, report from ZDNet is looking at what's happening. And uh, they say that users have been reporting that many scammers try to have you think they're actually Microsoft techs and they even give phone numbers. But in reality, they're scammers. ZDNet has reported seeing 3,090 pages dating to August 2018 and 12 new pages since last week. Pretty interesting to see. I think there's really a need for a cleanup there. 5G is maybe rolling out a little faster than we think. As Europe is speeding up the deployment of 5G, more and more talk about 5G testing in the US, analysts are actually changing a little bit their idea about 5G deployment and saying that the new generation network might actually be deployed much faster than previously taught. So this is good news, I would say, because uh, we all want to have these new faster networks. Alphabet <coughs> says that its project Loon has been able to connect between the different balloons at a distance of up to a thousand kilometers, that's 621 miles, creating a web of internet distribution balloons. And that, of course, is something that they want because they want to be able to have internet service, probably have the least amount of balloons up in the air at the same time. And of course, this is to give remote communities around the world a fast internet service. Well, NVIDIA says that uh, the next generation and 5G generation of streaming is coming to gaming and that it's actually going to create a revolution. Until now, you needed powerful devices to run games because graphics are very intensive in um, you know these games for computers and consoles. But it says that game stream or streaming of gaming will actually at some point be good enough that you won't even need a powerful device to do gaming as it's all going to be streamed over the internet. And uh, yesterday we were talking about the Adobe survey that talks about the uh, smart assistants. Well, that Adobe survey also says that by the end of this year, almost half of U.S. homes will have a smart speaker and that this number is growing fast and more and more people love the idea of smart speakers. Now, the latest number that they have from August shows that 38% of people surveyed add a smart assistant in their home. This is up 28% from December. So that's where they get their idea that, well, by the end of the year, almost half of everyone in the U.S. will have one. And this is tech news update. And just to say not everyone, but every household in the U.S., which is very different from every people. And this was the Tech News Update for Tuesday, September 11, 2018. If you enjoy our videos, please subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.